Oh, he's dropped the ball. He's dropped the ball. He's dropped the ball. And that's how it goes. So not only are we late, adjust the camera like that. Not only are we late today, bonus is I was just talking to a hay guy about bailing some stuff that we're doing, but that's farm business. That's not what we're talking about here. Well, I suppose it is. It's the farm fence. So drop the ball. Both me and Muzz and Scotty this week, we forgot to do our posts in the group. So that's how it is. Just unlucky. Uh, I dropped the ball for my reasons. I dropped... Say good day when you get on, mate. Um, I can see everyone watching. Muzz isn't going to be on today. He's got sales stuff to do, so that's okay. And Scotty's at work digging holes or mining stuff, whatever he's doing there. <laughs> One day we'll have a bigger chat about it. We have a three-way chat. Um, but yeah, drop the ball this week. We haven't got our posts in on time, so we'll apologise to you people for not doing that. Each to our own reasons. And uh, yeah, Murray's distracted. I was a bit distracted the last week with having the uni student out here for the Farm Friend program. It's really good to be investing my time in influencing the knowledge of uh, another person, which is part of why we have this group. So, you know, to share our wisdom and knowledge with you guys, um, that's how we come up with the, the Wednesday wisdom, Monday, Monday mindset and Friday frothy sort of scenario. And today being the Sunday session, got me uh, got my stubby older for the DBM sheep studs and I'm still wearing the hat. Um, yeah, but so yes, we dropped the ball, but we're going to pick it back up because that's part of the game. So like footy, because I'm a footy guy, some of you people might be rugby guys or whatever, cricket, whatever your sport is, you understand the reference. You drop the ball. Whoop do you do? What do you do? You just pick it back up and get on with the game. So that's that's the idea. So today's promise to everyone is that more of these videos, I will catch up on my YouTube stuff. The laptop is right there, ready to go. But I've just got to go do some household stuff. And there's plenty of work to be done on the farm. And uh, yeah, after you drop the ball, what are your opportunities? I suppose I can swing it into that. Whether I swing around and snap the goal. So <laughs> um, not a forward, I'm a backman when it comes to footy. But so opportunities. Example number one. Being through management. And, well, I'll say good decision making. So we didn't put as much crop in this year because I didn't want to pay that much for fertiliser and I didn't want to risk it and stuff like that. So we had sheep spread out thinly in a few spots. So at the moment, our sheep are in reasonable nick. And we haven't had to feed too much hay. I feed a bit of hay to the stud mobs because I like keeping their, their growth. You know, it's, still, it's just a system I've got. So I do use a bit of hay. And so because we didn't put enough crop in and because we spread the sheep out thinly, some of the volunteer pastures have got away from us. So um, what we're doing right now is got the swather out that we bought last year to take advantage of the canola thing. That, that, didn't, that opportunity didn't quite work, but now we've got the opportunity to swath our own pastures. So that's what's happening. Um, got a guy working with us and that's his job. Well, I can finish off my my spraying and, and start looking at the harvester. But so we're going to take advantage of these pastures and swath them. I was just on the phone to a bailing contractor. That's why I'm on a bit late. And he said, yeah, we'll be out there in a couple of weeks. And we just had a general chat because it's Sunday and Sunday's for general chatting. Yeah, it's not always a work day unless you're an online entrepreneur like myself and Muzz and Scotty. And sometimes, it, yeah, it's just that's the way it is. So, yeah, and what I've also done this week is got on Facebook, put an ad up to see who wants to buy some of this pasture hay that we've got because we don't need it all and I think it's nice to help some people out 
Yes, we're going to make money doing it, but the idea is we've got excess feed. Other people don't have as much feed. Let's work together. Everyone gets helped out. So they, they can... We've sold uh, 100 tonne of this feed so far, and uh, we will wait to see how it's bailed and what we got left, and then I can do some more. That's about creating cash flow from opportunities, return on investment. So return on investment being... We bought a swath of yards last year and that return on investment didn't quite work. But we find the next opportunity being cutting our own uh, pasture. And if we ever grow hay, maybe, um, I can swath it and then you just got to rake it differently because it's not conditioned. So there you go. And make hay. Make hay when the sun shines. Beautiful day. Um, yeah. So other opportunities that... Mars and I constantly throw at you guys as part of this group is what we're doing with our online business. How did we learn to do things like, how did I learn to do a Facebook group? I learned there's a couple of lessons in this training platform and it goes, do this, do that, do that, and then you have a go. So I got a business page, which I've, you know, had for a couple of years and you learn some things. You make a few mistakes, you drop the ball, you pick it back up again, you keep going. I've had one Facebook group doing this. I've had another Facebook group doing this and I don't do those two anymore. But then this this farm fence stuff was a, uh, a creation that I had dreamed up to support people like me. You know, that, that's the example. So we talk about in the business who are, who are the people you want to work with? I was, well, I work with farmers and footy players and truckies and stuff like that. You know, I love love working with uh, you know veterans or armed service people. You will never be, meet a higher quality caliber of person than someone who has served for this country. You know, respect to them, and they are the top. They are the top quality human beings. So, you know, who, who did I want to work with in this online opportunity? What movement can we create of, of having, you know, working together on Facebook and stuff like that and, and among the other training platforms and all the other systems we use like Zoom calls and Telegram chats, WhatsApp messages, all that sort of fun stuff that is involved in today's technology. How do we utilise that to make money? So understanding what Muzz and I talk about with our uh, opportunity, being a high-ticket affiliate marketer, that's that's what we're promoting. But there's the training platform and the, the backup and then the involvement within the team. So it's like your favourite footy team, all right? If you were to build your favourite footy team, who would be your players? That's the, you know, all the players that are mates, they hang out together. You know, all the, all the backmen, you know, hang out together, go down the pub all the time, and then all the, all the forwards are down there having goal kicking practice. They never stop. So it's guys like that, who do you want on your team? You know, who, who's your big tall centers and, and stuff like that? Who's your ruckman? You know, do they have the, the attitude? Are, are they having a beer with you one week and then they're smashing the ball down your throat the next week? Or preparing for the next season, it's all up to you know who you want your team, and the probably a great analogy that I've seen on one of the things that I've watched is you got your metric axis. So here, probably here's the lesson in the wisdom that I didn't drop on Wednesday. The metric axis that um, the American Navy SEALs use. You've got. Um, I just got to think. I got to get it right. One is trust. Or we'll go trust up, low trust, medium trust, high trust, and then competency. So whether you can do the tasks, all right? So who do you want in your team? Not everyone can be a high trust, high competency person, but you can be a high competency person and have low trust. Do you want that person in your team? Do you, you know? Do you find you can be? A high trust and low competency person, but you can still be in the team. Maybe that's how I'm playing football for so long. <laughs> low competency, high trust. 
We'll put it. We'll put it there. And so what the Navy SEALs look at is their favourite metric is high trust, high competency to medium competency, high trust. Into the middle, you've got medium, medium, and then you've got high, medium the other way. That is the ultimate team you build in there because you can, you can make those trustworthy people. You know, for example, who would you leave your wife and your money with and know that it's safe? So that's the people I want in my team because I know if I take my vehicle or not that I have a suitcase full of cash, but for example, if I took my suitcase full of cash over to a neighbor's place, I said, hey, mate, this is what it is. Can I leave it here for a month? I'm going away. I need it to be safe. Those neighbors will go, yep, leave it there. Don't know why, absolutely confused the shit out of them is why I want to leave a suitcase full of cash. But I trust them enough that they would leave it there and they'd think me an absolute weirdo because of it. And then I'd go back a month later after I've done my trip to wherever, Japan next year or the Gold, Gold Coast next year, Japan possibly sometime next year. We'll see what happens. That's how it is. But those are the people that I want on my team. But they haven't joined this team yet. We'll see. Give it time. So, yeah, that's the Sunday session. Cheers. If you need some sheep, call me. We're just talking to a hay guy. You can call me for that too. But uh, that's about it. Marked a heap of sheep this week. Good, good lambing percentage this year. That's We'll say that's good management and good breeding practice. Quality genetics, blah, blah, blah. If you know, you know. If you don't and, you, and you're struggling with something, maybe reach out and ask some questions to some people that might have the answers. That's how we learn. So that's why we have a training platform that we can show you guys on how to learn how to make Facebook groups. And it's not just Facebook groups. It's how to promote yourself as a personal brand and all that sort of stuff online. So what sort of personal brand did I want to be? Have a guess. This is, this is how I am. This is called a personal brand. Yeah, I am this guy sitting in my fluoros in my success office in front of my vision board, drinking water and today I just having to be drinking a can of, can of uh, that stuff because it's not, not promoting their products. And uh, that's who I am as a personal brand. Ask yourself this question. If you were to sell something online, what would be your selling technique would be, would the product should sell itself because people either want the product or they don't want the product. But how are they going to buy said product off you? You need to become a personal brand. So there. So how do you become a personal brand? Get some training. You want some really economical training because some of this stuff is not free. Right? Um, you go to all these big business conferences and stuff, you're talking five, ten thousand dollar tickets and a couple of days and stuff like that. So to get access to these people for a couple of bucks a month, or it's under a thousand bucks a year, if you could, if you could get access to all this for twelve months to then learn at your pace, would that not be more beneficial than trying to book a plane ticket to be on the Gold Coast to go to a Grant Cardone, Tony Robbins, whatever conference you want to go to, to to learn something about business, to then have to go and implement. Because once you've gone to that conference and then you come back, you've got to implement it. But what if you've forgotten something? Who do you call? So, you know, there's upsides. Well, I, could, I could really go down that rabbit hole for as long as you like, but I won't because I'm running late. It's probably getting late in the day. We've all got stuff to do, so... I'll leave it there. Sign off like Muzz and I normally do. Thanks to the farmers that grow all the food and all the other stuff like sheep for wool for clothing for our great country. Thanks to all the truckies that transport said goods from everywhere around the country. Keep it up, you're doing a great job. And thanks to all the veterans and service people that have protected our country or countries if, you, if you're not from this great land. Um, yeah, 
thanks to all those service people that protected our country, you top quality human beings. All right, so peace out, have a good one. And that's us for this week. Watch out on YouTube. If you uh, happen to catch this on YouTube, don't forget to hit the like and subscribe button, all that sort of YouTube-y stuff that Muzz and I sort of giggle ourselves at. And uh, that's us for the week. So peace out, have a good one. If you drop the ball, you can always pick it up again.